the, the eyes of the motorsport world are on Miami right now and you're there. What's the atmosphere like? It's actually uh, quite amazing. You know, I've been to a lot of Grand Prix in my day. <laughs> Uh, and I have to say that they've done a really amazing job with the setup, like around the Hard Rock Stadium. Just the whole the whole atmosphere is buzzing. Yesterday we went to the um, I was right at the F1 uh, opening. They did a live kind of a live thing at the night, and there's just so many fans like all around the stadium, cheering for the drivers on the stage. You know, they had also the W Series drivers on the stage, so it was it was amazing like atmosphere. Um, yeah, it felt like it was already. Saturday, Saturday of the race day, <laughs> and it's only it was only Wednesday. So, yeah, lots of energy. The fans are really going, uh, you know, really pumped for this event. And you add in the Mi Miami Heat playing the NBA playoffs, and it's it's a really busy uh, atmosphere. Sounds amazing. You were, of course, at the inaugural Chinese Grand Prix in Shanghai, and also the first Singapore Grand Prix. Does this is this bigger yeah. than those even? Oh. Uh, I'd have to say almost yes. I feel like the just the whole like you know the the US F1 scene is just like it's a, it's almost like a new thing for everyone. So there's right. this energy about it like where I think you know when I went, when we did Singapore Grand Prix a lot of, there was a lot of seasoned fans and um it was a very different kind of uh a space. I feel like it's much more mainstream now. There's a lot more people that are maybe not die hard motorsport fans but just people that want to be part of the event. So already there was like concerts and and events happening all over the place. And it's, yeah, it's, you know, now Thursday. And I, I guess now things get a bit more serious on the racetrack. But, you know, all the drivers were doing lots of, of uh, funny things, you know, all sorts of <laughs> promotions and, and things. And, and uh, yeah, it's it's been a, a, quite an experience so far, I think. I bet. Now, look, I'm used to whenever I call you, you're somewhere around the world near a race circuit. What are you doing in Miami? Well, I, I actually manage a driver, um, Bianca Bastamante. She's a young 17-year-old driver. Um, it, it's up and coming, and she she landed a scholarship racing with W Series now. So she was here um, doing all our preparation, and I was just supporting her along the way. Um, I won't be staying very much longer. I'm off to Bathurst for a 12-hour, which, which my team is uh, competing at the event. So I can't, unfortunately, I can't stay for the Miami weekend, but it was great to be around the paddock and, and, and checking things out and, and being a part of the, you know, the event here up to now. But today, tonight, this afternoon, I'm off uh, to Australia. So final question then. You've, we've talked about it. You've done a number of Grand Prix supporting races yourself as a driver. What was the number one piece of advice you gave to Bianca? Well, I think it's like any time you do street circuits, it's very different than any other race. And I think this goes to all the F1 drivers as well. Like it's really about, uh, there's a slight of buildup more than a you know conventional circuit. Uh, on a conventional track, you know, there's more runoff, there's more, um, you know, there's more space. Uh, and the track is quite consistent in terms of, you know, how much grip there is. But obviously with a street circuit, the grip is, it's a street. So it, the road's dirty. It takes time to get the rubber in. It takes time to get the track clean. So I think that's going to be the biggest thing is just building up and not putting it in the wall. Because I think same with all the F1 drivers, they, they want to get as much running time as possible, learning a new track and all this kind of things and collecting data for the teams. So I really feel like, um, yeah, it's about, you know, you know, just, just learning a new track. And, and I, we did a track walk around and uh, yeah, the, the circuit looks fantastic. Um, you know, they've done a great job preparing everything. So for the first time at Miami, I'd have to say that they've, they're really well organized. The paddock and the, the you know, I was, I, was, I was walking around around the pit lane and you know, everything looks fantastic and looks ready to go. Do you wish you were driving yourself? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I wish I, I wish I am. <laughs> uh, I know I've done more GT stuff and there is the Porsche Cup this weekend as well. So the, they are here. I saw the Porsche Cup uh, on track and yeah, the, everything's looking um, uh, uh, fantastic for the event.